Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I am going to be comparing DigitalOcean and Hostinger and telling you which one is better for you. Now I'll drop a link in the description where you can compare both of these hosting companies in more detail and receive special discounts. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to consider is the differences between these two companies, because whereas Hostinger has plans that are meant for everyone, meant for tech novices, beginners, and advanced computer technicians alike, DigitalOcean focuses on providing more developer-friendly plans. Now, both of these websites have some pretty good plans, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and break down the differences between the websites, the pros and cons of each, and kind of just help you decide which one is better for you and which website you wanna go with when you're buying a hosting plan. Now, DigitalOcean offers a different type of plan, essentially cloud virtual machines, which they refer to as droplets. So now to compare these DigitalOcean droplets to Hostinger's cloud hosting plans, let's go ahead and look at the price differences and the value differences you get from each of these different companies. Now overall, the prices are pretty comparable, with Hostinger obviously offering some of the cheapest plans on the market, but DigitalOcean offering some pretty cheap plans as well. If we're looking at the value you get for the money though, there's a really important thing to consider which goes beyond the price differences between the two companies. Now this thing to consider is which ones are more user friendly, which company has more user friendly plans. Because let's face it, not many of us are very tech savvy, we don't need super advanced developer options and a lot of times that'll get confusing when you're building your first website. Because of this, I have to give it to Hostinger on this one because their plans are much more user friendly than DigitalOcean's. As I said before, DigitalOcean is an extremely developer focused website. It's not going to be the most user friendly experience, especially if you're just starting out. Now the next interesting thing we need to compare is the differences in the features between these two companies. Both Hostinger and DigitalOcean, although they do provide very similar plans, they have their distinctions, they have their different features and their different benefits. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Now here are the different features and I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the meanings of all of these different features. So as you can see Hostinger has shared WordPress and email hosting plus managed cloud hosting and virtual private servers. DigitalOcean on the other hand provides developer friendly cloud virtual machines. Now in case you don't know the difference between this essentially all this means and I'm going to keep this as simple as possible is this means Hostinger will be much easier for a beginning user. Their plans are essentially plug and play, whereas DigitalOcean needs a bit more management, a bit more nuance to setting up the hosting plan. Now the next feature we need to cover is that Hostinger does come with a free domain, whereas DigitalOcean does not. This is the same with the SSL certificate. Both of these features are obviously a big plus for Hostinger. Now moving on, as you can see, here's a feature where DigitalOcean does take it. Hostinger can have around 200, 300 gigs disk space. However, DigitalOcean has around 25 to up to 3.75 terabytes of disk space. Now the big difference here is just scalability. If you're gonna need a website that runs off of terabytes of data, which will be rare, but if you do need it, then DigitalOcean takes this feature. Now, as you can see on the bandwidth, Hostinger once again takes it because Hostinger offers unlimited bandwidth, whereas DigitalOcean offers only one to 12 terabytes. Still a lot of bandwidth for DigitalOcean, but Hostinger does have the unlimited option. Now, as you can see, the automatic backups for Hostinger are daily, whereas DigitalOcean only offers them weekly, yet again, another small plus for Hostinger. Now, getting to the control panel option, Hostinger offers HPanel, whereas DigitalOcean offers a multitude of other panels. The reason being, once again, is the customization ability and the fact that DigitalOcean is more advanced. So you're going to have people who are wanting specifically different control panels, and then they'll be able to set that up. Now, as you can see, DigitalOcean doesn't even provide an email service, whereas Hostinger does. Now, neither of these companies has free site migration, but Hostinger, as you can see, has a money back guarantee, a 30 day money back guarantee, whereas DigitalOcean does not. Because if you go with their plan and then you decide, hey, I don't really like this plan, I want to move to a different company, you can always get your money back in 30 days. 
Now next, let's talk about performance. Now Hostinger currently has 7 data centers, whereas DigitalOcean has 12. Now this might seem like a benefit for DigitalOcean at first if you're familiar with what data centers are, but it's not as big of a benefit as you would think. Hostinger uses a lot of different advanced technologies which allow it to keep a 99.9% .9 credit backed uptime, which is actually really good. So both of these websites do have super high performance, super high uptime. There's not really a large distinction between the two websites in their overall performance. Now for security, both of these websites I have to say are equally good. They're both very, very secure and very, very exploit proof. You're not really going to be finding any problems with security when it comes to either of these websites, Hostinger or DigitalOcean. Security is very important, so it's very good that both of these companies shine through on this feature, because this is a feature every single good company, every company worth its salt, needs to excel at. If you don't have good security, you're not going to be lasting as a hosting provider. Next, if we're looking at customer support, which is always a good thing to mention, even though it's not technically a feature of the plans, customer support is a very nice thing to have. If we are looking at customer support and the differences between these two websites, Hostinger is definitely going to take this one. They have stellar customer support, 24-7 email, live chat, stuff like that, that really pulls them through on the customer support side. So just to recap, Hostinger versus DigitalOcean. They're both very good platforms, but Hostinger does provide a more user-friendly option, whereas DigitalOcean tries to go for a more developer-friendly route. Now in the end, after researching and comparing all the features, I do think Hostinger is a better company overall. I think for 99% of users, Hostinger is going to be the way to go, unless you're really looking for some gigantic scalability, which Hostinger might not be able to offer for your business. But that is very rare, and overall I think Hostinger is the better company. Even though both of these companies are very stellar, I have to give it to Hostinger on this one. Well, thank you for listening. Now, if you do have any questions for me about this, just leave them in the comments and I will be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I have a link in the description where you can read a more detailed review of the comparison between these companies and receive special discounts. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time and have a great day.